Hi, I'm Natalie Dadamio. I'm a mixed media artist, soulful creator, intuitive guide and channel, and I'm gonna talk to you about how to start abstract art, and I'll be working on paper. Of course, these tips apply to any substrate, and the tips might not be what you expect. Oftentimes, we need to start with what's hiding underneath the surface, and that could be emotional and the blocks, the fears, um, and we need to remind ourselves again and again what it really takes to show up and commit to our practice and process. So oftentimes, uh, starting isn't what we always think. Um, we often overlook the little things and it's really important to pay attention to the subtle nuances, the mental, the emotional, the energetic, um, and how do we open more to the mark making and to the color and to the line and to the shape like we're just talking about the beginning but the truth is we're always beginning sometime again and um, although these tips may seem simplistic they're also um, very you know universal and we can always revisit them from wherever we're at so let's get started Tip number one, release judgment. One of the biggest barriers to starting abstract art, or anything for that matter, is our own self-criticism. We can be the, uh, the thing that's in the way. Um, the judgments that we hold from the past or where we're starting from. But remember, abstract art isn't about perfection. It's about expression. Tip number two, be open to experimentation. Experimentation is all about opening and allowing yourself to be curious about what's inside. And oftentimes that's scary to look if you haven't looked in a long time. I mean, I know what it's like. I remember being a locked up artist and um, it can be quite the journey. And when we're first coming to the work, you know, or we just came out of a really hard time. Maybe it's harder to like look inside, see what's there. Cause like it involves taking like an honest look and really looking in the sense of, um, you know, opening to more of us. And that comes through in the marks and the words and like all the expressions, right? So um, when we're talking about experimentation, well, we kind of want to release the judgment and the criticism, right? And that's why tip one was release the judgment because, um, you know, there's so many things that we've been conditioned to believe, but we want to like start to unlearn and break free from that conditioning. And um, <laughs> it can be a little bit messy in the beginning or when it's hard, but experimentation allows us to open to more. Tip number three is when you're just starting out and you're moving through this, record your thoughts and feelings. And um, this is gonna start to give you an internal understanding of the external output. For instance, maybe I would record, I really don't like this purple mark. Uh, um, I love this wild blue mark. Um, today I was feeling very, um, a little bit of sadness and, um, you know, but a big burst of energy, you know, so you would write those things down and, um, you start to build the relationships to the emotion and the energy and of the day, of the moment, right? Because every day is different. So when we start to get that internal understanding, writing is just another way to process that um, thought. Also, like there's two aspects of when we're doing the artwork and we're writing, um, there's two different modes of expression and they're able to eventually crisscross and make different kinds of connections. So that it can be a good way to, um, as a beginner, get in the habit of like finding our voice, right? Not just in the artwork, but in our like physical speaking voice. I need to eventually be able to write about it and speak about it if we want to like do bigger things, apply for grants, you know, um, apply for shows. All those things are gonna matter because it's important to know what 
your individual artist <laughs> statement and feelings and emotions are because that defines the work <laughs> and it is important so when you start as a beginner recording those thoughts and feelings you're gonna get um, you're already kind of ahead of yourself in a way because you're starting to do the work like in a deeper level tip number four please don't hate me for this one but you have to start start <laughs> um, I know it's like the it's it's like a duh duh you have to start um I'm saying this because we all need the reminder and we can all be blocked from time to time and facing more fears whatever we're moving through and when I returned to art I was just afraid to even paint so um I needed those reminders as a beginner in the beginning um, to start and to work through my emotional stuff to release the judgment and the criticism you know to experiment and explore and to open to more so we all need to be reminded to start again um, and you know whatever's happening in life sometimes we are doing really well and then we fall off the wagon <laughs> so um, if you've ever started and stopped something, <laughs> you'll know what I mean. And sometimes we need that en energy from someone else telling us, start. So tip number five is make art in your creative life a daily practice. Um, this one you might not like. People don't like to say, um, here, do it daily. And um, I get it. When I was just starting out, I mean, I had trouble just, you know, wrestling with learning and working on my emotional and spiritual self and opening up to more. So in the beginning, if we're locked up, full of fear, doubt, worry, blocks, um, that stuff's going to get in the way. So that's oftentimes why we start and stop, start and stop. Um, and I know this because that's what I did with this YouTube channel. <laughs> I was afraid to like, you know, be seen and afraid to take a point of view that I really love, but that's changed now. But besides that is what I'm trying to say in regards to having a daily art practice. Even if we start small, which I have a video for that, I'll put it up there. Um, we start to make those internal connections, right? So we're building the marks and the moments and um, opening up to more, you know. And that's why we can start small in these little books. Because um, eventually it can grow, right? But maybe we can't start out like if you're gonna run a race, you can't start running <laughs> eight or ten miles if you stopped for a long time. You have to start over again and, and start to build that capacity to hold the, you know, energy and the strength in the body. So it's the same thing with an art practice. You have to, like, start and, and look at this, like, mental and emotional stuff. And um, also like learning, right? There's some things to composition, color, and um, understanding the relationships to how it works for you individually as an artist. So you also want to plan for the long game, right? <laughs> because like you don't just go from zero to a hundred. Actually, that's not really sustainable. <laughs> um, you're gonna burn yourself out. Um, but you can keep the momentum and the energy flowing, and that's why the daily practice is important in art and life. Because once you um, do it just a little, it becomes like you have to do it. It's non-negotiable, so that will change your life, just that simple, small act alone. So those are just five simple steps that we can like start to look at and uncover and address as beginning our investigation into making abstract art. But if you'd like more guidance, 
I have an online class called Unleashing Creative Freedom that explores expressive mixed media works on paper, building layers, uh, opening up to the kid in us and um, the freedom. Freedom of expression is really important to me in my art practice and I would imagine it might be important to you as well. So what it means is to really look at the emotional and energetic and open up to more awarenesses both internal and external. In the class I'll go over the energetic, the emotional and have some little exercises to get you thinking and opening up to more. We'll also go over alternative papers because the way I work on paper is a layered paper and paint process says collage and paint and um, there will even be some exciting interesting things you might have not have thought about in there and um, then we'll build a series of small works on paper so if you're interested in joining me in that the link is below in the description box and um, if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me but um, remember it's all about starting because we can be in hard times and hard moments and we can always start again and um, again and again and again <laughs> I mean it's just part of the process of creation um, itself and art and living <laughs> so um, it's possible. And remember, we can always start again. And again. And again. And again. And again. And again. And again. <laughs> it's a dance of creation. <laughs> a celebration. <laughs> An investigation. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>